everyone, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm here with my friend Sheridan. Hello. And the other day I asked you guys on my social media if you wanted to see a video of covering up some redness or scarring. And I'll put in a before photo of Sheridan. And then obviously this is the after. So pretty much uh, over the past couple of years Sheridan has had quite a bit of acne. I think that she was on Roaccutane for about a year. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, her skin has cleared up with the pimples, but she's left with a scar. And she wanted to share with you guys how she covers it up. And we've got a few different methods from when it was really bad to what it is now. So today she's done, done her usual everyday makeup. And this is how it turns out. It's not as full coverage as some of the other techniques that we've used. But we'll get into it and show you. So we're going to talk a bit about the product. The first one that we've got an example of is... Camouflage cream. It's by Dermacolor. I got this from the pharmacy, actually. A, a girl I know worked there and she said people just use that as their everyday concealer sometimes. It's really thick. Um, some people use it to cover like tattoos and things like that. Okay. Um, I find it really good coverage. Yeah, that's and right. And when it was really bad, my face was really bad, um, this stuff covered it. Like, obviously, you could still see. Yeah, so that one's really good if it's very bad. Mm. And I also found when you applied it, it tended to fill in a yeah, bit of the, it's, it's really the indents as well, which was really good. Yeah, it's not so much... I don't know, natural as the other yeah. ones because the gut's really full coverage. Yeah. Um, but you wouldn't put it all over your face or anything, just like a spot kind of. Or if you have half your face, half your face kind of. <laughs> um, and then the next one is In the Clinique Redness Solutions. I actually went into Maya in Melbourne and asked, like I just went in and said, what can I do to cover this? And the lady was like, um, and she was a bit, <laughs> she was a bit unsure, but in the end she did suggest this one. She matched me up and it was really good for covering um, the kind of purple red that you get. And it didn't seem to make anything worse. Like I, I put this on when I had lots of lo lots of dots and it didn't make it any worse at all. It wasn't like oily or anything. So oh yeah, did this one clog you up? Really good. Like did that make the pimples um, worse? I didn't really put much of that on when I had Active, okay. active marks because I was kind of scared of it <laughs> that it was too thick. So this one's okay to use while you've got Yeah, it seemed to be fine pimples. Okay. Um, on me anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't put this all over my face. You'd still use a normal foundation and then just put it on the redness parts. Yeah. Is that what you mean? It's pretty expensive, um, this one in Maya. I can't remember, around $50, $60. Um, so I found the colour that I liked and then I just went online off eBay and I bought it on there. I think it was like $30. Or yeah, so, so much um, that, and it came really fast, so that was fine. And for everyday use, you've been using these. This one, yeah. So just a Revlon Color Stay it's 200 nude. nude. I just used this. I was using the True Match foundation, but I find that this one's Has better coverage. Better coverage. Yeah. Staying um, powers good. Yeah. yeah. This stays on for a long time. Did you get the combination oily skin? Yeah. Yep. Combination oily skin. Didn't know that I got that. <laughs> like I put this on in the morning and with, with the other stuff as well and I come home from work and my makeup hasn't changed at all so I find that really good. Yeah, I find the staying power really good. Yeah. And then it's nearly empty but MAC Pro Longwear Concealer NW20. This stuff's amazing. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. It's really good. <laughs> so unlike people who usually use it underneath their eyes, Sheridan actually uses it on her redness. And do you find that it moves at all or it stays in place or? Uh, you the combination with that and that Revlon, I don't know which one it is that stays yeah. all day, but yeah, it's it always It doesn't on. move. Okay, well that's good. And then lastly is just a Nude by Nature. So I used this before I had, like when I had clear skin anyway, and it was good. And I just find sometimes I use a different powder, but if I want fuller coverage, then I go for this one. And I've just got it in light, medium skin tones. I use Sukin uh, Moisturizer. Which is just from the chemist. Um, I also use their face wash as well. You get it from Priceline as well. Oh yep. I'm pretty sure. It smells really nice. It smells like musk and it's it's really nice. It's really cheap as well. I think it's like $7 and so is the face wash. And the face wash is really good um, to wash off all your makeup. And I found it fine the whole time um, when I had all my active marks and things like so that. Sheridan has gone through the process of needling how many times? Just once. Just once? Yeah. And so just... What, what, what do they do? <laughs> um, so it's basically, they said I had to go in about five times. It's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a control 
with these little needles that come out every time so it feels like when you get it done it feels like kind of like a staple gun that's the kind of noise it makes so it goes beep yeah. and then it crunch and so it's this little it's about this big the part where the needles actually come out and they adjust like how many mils it comes out each time um, and it's got a heat that goes through it as well and it's supposed to stimulate um, collagen production um, so they go along all the areas um, and just pretty much beep stab beep stab which is fun I um, mean it does hurt they put you like they have a numbing cream that they I was just on, gonna ask about um, that, yeah. at the start and that's good um, it doesn't really do much some people get this done for like wrinkles and things like that I think they're crazy because <laughs> it really hurts and afterwards um, your face is red raw um, I can show a photo yeah we'll put in a photo later. of what it looks um, and there's, there's blood and everything because it is actual needles going into your face um, and how long does the procedure take so it was about an hour. I feel I had to wait for an another hour. Cream. Yeah, of just sitting there because wow. they go over your face three times. So and each time the needles get a bit smaller. Um, I don't know why. That's just how they do it. What were the results like? Um, immediately they didn't they didn't show anything to me. Yeah. But they said it takes up to about like six to eight weeks um, to show results. And I think it's the redness has gone down a lot. Um, I wanted it for the indentation. Yeah. But um, I haven't seen much of a change with that yet, but they said one one round yeah, probably won't even do anything at all. So you need okay. actual, like, you know, three to five goes. It's expensive as well. So they gave me a discount because I only got parts of my face done where other people get their full face done. Yeah. Crazy people. <laughs> so what parts did you get done? Your cheeks? Yep. And um, right across here, my nose and my chin's got scarring as well. Um, and my forehead as well. But when I go back not going to get my nose because that really hurt so along with your needling is there anything else that you're doing to try and reduce your scars or anything like that they gave me like a gel it's by o cosmetics and it's a like a b3 kind of cream gel it comes in kind of capsule pack and it's pretty expensive it's 100 about 120 dollars but um i've had it for about a year now and oh, i've wow. still got probably two out of five oven left like I don't use it religiously I probably should use it a bit more so how often do you use it um you're supposed to use it um every night and every morning oh, okay. um, I just put it on at night because I don't really like it underneath my makeup um, it can leave like a white kind of um, residue okay so, but I find it's it's supposed to reduce hyperpigmentation um which is oh, okay. all the redness and things like that yeah and like something's making the redness go away so I think that that's a combination of as well both. Yeah, that's really good. But what about like any oils or anything like that? Have you used anything and seen results? Or um, I did try um, rosehip oil for a little while, but I did get a bit scared because it is an oil um, of putting it on my face when there was like kind of active marks. I haven't used that for a while, but um, now everything's cleared up. I'm keen to start trying that again because I think that yeah that would help a lot as well. Yeah, and also I use like a night cream by Sukin, the same brand as the. The cleanser yeah. and moisturizer <laughs> um, and it's just a night cream and I just put a few drops of rose oil in that as well and it's lovely you wake up and your face is so soft and it's really nice so that is all for us today I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you've got any questions please feel free to leave them down below and we will together answer them or if I can answer them or I'll share it and answer them and yeah we hope you have a great day and see you later bye yeah.